All right, you guys. I hope you guys like what you see. Um, I'm trying this again uh, without a, vo a voiceover. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to talk personally. <laughs> so this is the look. I'm uh, going to be going to this little show at my son's school. So I wanted to just do like a like a new lip, a gloss new lip and a like like a soft natural look with with a little color on my eyeshadow and of course my lashes. All right. Uh, this is the complete look. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Uh, keep watching the video and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, share, like, and share it with your family and friends. Okay, you guys, so I already did my eyebrows off camera. I used the Studio Finish Concealer in NC42 to clean up my brows. I'm going to be going in with the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm using a blending brush. I am putting the uh, color dusty rose in my crease area and above my crease area slightly and I use all the shadows on my eye in this soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills so any eyeshadow you see me using is from the soft glam eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills So I'm just making sure it's blended in very well. And throughout the video, you'll see me blending a lot. <laughs> so now I'm going in with that mulberry. This is a deeper, like a burgundy maroon type of color. And I'm going to focus that color on an outer uh, corner in my crease area and midway in the middle. So as you can see me, I'm just using windshield wiper motion and I'm just packing that color mulberry eyeshadow into my crease area and remember to get a diaper sorry <laughs> to get a brighter pigment uh, you want to pack the eyeshadow color on your lid As you see me, I'm patting and I'm using the windshield wiper movement to apply that shadow. And as you see, the color starts to stand out. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the Cypress Umber, and that is a brown color I'm using and I'm just using that um, I'm taking that below the crease area and I'm kind of like winging it out toward the middle so I'm actually applying that cypress umber like on my eyelid and a little under the crease area if that makes sense you see the video <laughs> and so I'm just going back and forth just to make sure it's up to my liking Then I'm going to be going in with this uh, color called Tempera, and it's a lighter, it's the lightest uh, eyeshadow color in the palette. And I'm using that more so to clean up any harsh lines and as a highlight, somewhat of a highlight. So as you see me going back and forth, yeah. So here you see me uh, going back in with the original color I started in the beginning and that is the Dusty Rose because I'm just making sure uh, I got that color on there heavily and that there's no harsh line. So here you see me applying uh, a shimmer color which is the Rose Pink. I'm actually applying that with the blending brush first because I kind of like how it looks when I first apply it. Uh, it's, it doesn't go on too heavy, but you can slightly see it. So then after I do that, I go in with the flat uh, flat brush and apply the same color, which is the rose pink shimmer color. And I kind of concentrate it, concentrate it in the area that I want. So 
And remember, this tutorial, uh, we're going for a soft look, a soft makeup look. A soft glam. <laughs> So here I'm going in with the color Fairy just to give it, uh, just to make the eyeshadow pop a little bit. I kind of want like a, it's like a goldish, a light gold I guess. I just wanted a little highlight pop of shimmer. So I did that and throughout the video you'll see me add shadow and blend it out with the blending brush just to make sure all the eyeshadows are connecting with each other. And remember guys, you know I use my blending brush for all my eyeshadows. I simply just wipe off the excess eyeshadow and pick up another shade that I want. So here as you see me, I'm just blending in certain spots that need to be blended. Going in with the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. And I don't want like a dramatic wing line. I'm not even doing a wing. I'm just, I just want some liner on my lash line. And I'm doing it uh, as thin as I can. And then as you see me, I'm just building up that color. I kind of wanted to add a little bit more liquid liner to fill in any gaps as well. Then I'm going in with that Lash Craft um, Mascara. I forget who's that from. <laughs> I want to say Urban Decay, but I could be wrong. Then I'm going in with these lashes. These are like uh, 3D lashes, so uh, they're very cute and uh, fluffy. <laughs> I always have to come in like at an angle because my eyelashes are curly so it's always like I gotta like stop start at the top <laughs> and come down but you guys see <laughs> you get the drift <laughs> It's always that one lash where I have to use the tweezers to move my real lash out the way because it's so curly it gets in the way. <laughs> then I'm going in, I used a NARS, um, I mixed the NARS foundation uh, with each other. I'll leave the foundation in the description because I, I do not know the shades off the back. <laughs> but I mixed them together. And I apply it on my face.
I'm just blending. <laughs> As you see. And here I'm just adding more of that foundation and applying it under my eye. Making sure I don't miss any spots. Then I'm going in with my LA Pro Girl concealer in the shade Fond, and I'm going to apply that under my eye area to get to give a highlight. Then I'm going to apply that in my forehead area in the middle, on my nose, and on my chin. Then I'm going to blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Then I'm taking a sponge just to make sure I really blend out that concealer underneath my eye. Sometimes the brush don't allow you to really blend that concealer out underneath your eye. So I like to use a sponge or a beauty blender to really help pack that product in. Then I'm going in with this translucent powder by... Laura Mercier and I'm just applying that under my eye area as you can see then I'm applying that in the middle of my forehead and chin and I'm doing all this just so I can set the concealer so it doesn't crease. Then I'm taking the translucent powder and I'm applying it pretty much everywhere on my face. <laughs> then I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills and my foundation stick in the color Earth and I'm using that to contour my face. Sometimes I contour my nose and sometimes I don't. So in this case, I did not contour my nose. Sometimes I feel like I can do without a contour on my nose. So you see it here. <laughs> then I'm going in with my powder bronzer in the shade Mahogany by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm applying it all on my contour area. Then I'm just brushing off that translucent powder that I had. Then I'm going in and applying that eyeshadow from the same eyeshadow palette, Soft Glam, in the shade Cypress Umber, and that is the brown shade. And it's a dark brown shade. Then I'm going in and I apply Burnt Orange. I believe that's Burnt Orange. Could be wrong. Sorry, not Burnt Orange, but Dusty Rose. <laughs> that's not even Dusty Rose. I apply the Cypress Umber, Mulberry, and then the fairy uh the fairy shimmer color in my inner corner forgive me y'all <laughs> then i'm going in with my wet and wild black eyeliner and i'm applying that black eyeliner on my waterline just to give my eyes more definition
then I'm going in with my blush trio and adore and I'm going to slightly take it up this time I haven't done this before but I kind of like the blush to go a little up I like it on my cheeks but also a little up almost like a contour I kind of like I kind of like it so um, I kind of brought it up a little bit as well then I'm going to be going in with my Missy Land eyeshadow and baked highlighter palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use that to highlight my face And I forget what color I used the lighter I believe the lighter bond gold goldish color now I'm going in with my lip liner from Mac in the shade chestnut and I'm going to line my lips up Then I'm going in with this, I believe it's the Liquid Forever Matte color in the color Dawn, I believe. It's the Liquid Matte Lipstick. And I use that to put on, on my lip. And then I'm just going back in with that lip liner. Then I'm using this disposable, disposable <laughs> lip uh to blend it then i that lipstick that i applied that was the mac lipstick in the shade velvet teddy and it's a matte shade i use that then i go in with this gloss by max makeup i use my lip disposable wand to blend it in my lips then i Take the excess gloss off because it was getting on my teeth. <laughs> Go back in with that lip liner and chestnut. And voila. <laughs> Just so gorgeous. <laughs> and my hair, y'all. Y'all see it. This is the finished look, you guys. I hope you love what you see. And uh, I'll be back with many, many more videos. Let me know what you guys want me to do next, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel.